Have you been told you need to get a help desk IT job as your first tech career? Do you want to know if that's actually true? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And we're an organization that's dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology now for over 25 years, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades. And I want to help you get your first tech job, whether that be any job that you desire. But the reason we're saying this is so many people believe they have to start out as a sys admin, a cloud admin, or get an IT help desk job in order to build their career. And that's just not true at all. Look, it's fine to have an IP help desk career if you want that, but there's no IT help desk career path that we need to talk about that mandates you need to start at these junior level roles such as help desk or admin. Now, if you like help desk, we love it. I love help desk people. I call them and they're like wizards. They solve my technology problems and I don't have to think about it or troubleshoot it myself. So I love help desk people. And if you desire to do help desk or love it, fantastic for people that want to do this, I encourage them to start in help desk. But if you don't want to, there's no reason to start at help desk. There's no reason to start with any junior level admin role or help desk role unless you want to. You do not need that help desk IT job to start your career unless you want to. I've spent the last 20 years in helping people get their first tech jobs. And none of my clients ever started out in a help desk role or an admin role. In fact, they skipped five to 10 years of career advancement by training for the career they wanted. I get people cloud engineering jobs, solution architect jobs, cloud architect jobs almost on a daily basis. And many of them have never worked in tech. And you can see many of those examples on my channel because they were trained properly. When they walked into an interview, they were energetic, they were enthusiastic, they were passionate, and they were competent. The employers knew they were team players. The employers knew they were willing to go above and beyond. And their communication skills and their interview skills were so good, they got any job they wanted. So, train for the job you want. Now, if your goal is help desk, brilliant. It's great. But you don't need to start here as a stepping stone job like many people will tell you. You don't need that cloud admin role, that network admin role, that help desk admin role, unless you want it. Unless you want it. Let's look at other careers. Physicians don't work as med techs, then nursing assistants, then nurses, then pharmacists, just to become physicians. They become physicians. Airplane pilots don't become flight attendants and then hope that's going to give them airplane mechanics and then hope that's going to give them the training to fly a plane because it won't. Proper training and education people teaches people the skills they need for their job, just like the physician or the airline pilot. Want even more reasons to learn the career you desire in the first place? Well, salary and career progression. If you start with your desired career in the first place, you may save five to 10 years to getting to your goals. Now, this can easily be an additional million dollars of additional salary in your career. But it's not just that. By training for somebody else's job, you're not learning your job. It's like the pilot that wants to go to school to be an airline mechanic. It doesn't make them any better at their job. It's just somebody else's job. So we feel that you should train for the job that you love, the job that you dream about, and get there quicker. See, here's the thing. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Now you can zigzag all the around you want, but if you want to fast track your career, train for the job you want. Now if you want a help desk, that's great. Get your first help desk job, and I love that. I love help desk people. If you want to be a cloud architect, train to be a cloud architect. Do you want to be a solution architect? Train to be a solution architect. Do you want to be an arc engineer? Train for the job you want. Just take the straightest line. So build the plan the perfect plan that gets input from experts on how to get you to your goal. Follow that plan and then ex and execute on that plan until you win. And whether it's a cloud architect job, a solution architect job, a help desk job, a network engineer job, I don't care. I just want you to get the job of your dreams. I want you to get there better and faster than you could on your own so you can have a better career, enjoy your career, and take better care of your family. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Click Careers, and I want to help you in your career. If you desire to become a cloud architect or a solution architect, we have a cloud architect career development program that is a one-stop shop that includes everything you need to become a working and hireable cloud architect. And if you desire to become a cloud engineer, we've got a cloud engineer career development program that will help you get your first cloud engineer job and teach you all the skills you need to be great at your career. 
I look forward to seeing you in another video coming very soon. Take care.